are you working in any organization or did you ever observed what and how is the structure of the educational institution that you have studied ever noticed who is the owner then who is the next person then who is the next person in your organization or in your educational institution did you get a chance to see the structure of your organization hi i am m asif hussain from know how academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn and understand how to create an organization chart in power bi so by the end of this video you could able to get a very clear idea on how we have to create an organization chart with respect to the data that we have it in power bi so watch till the end my dear viewers here i have a data okay so let's understand the data first then we will go with the power bi so here as you can see that i have id then i have parent id then i have name of the employees then the designation then the group of the employees okay so now if you consider that the first person mithal trivedi now she is the ceo okay so so now ceo will not have any parent id because that is the first person she is the first person in the organization so now when we come to the second id if we consider the employees okay so as you can observe the first four employees are given with the parent id 1 in the sense after this particular ceo then these are the people who comes in the next hierarchy so then what's happening is that they might be from different designations they might be from different group they might be doing different projects there might be the developers whatever but we are considering the level but whatever we are considering the next persons okay so once the parent id 1 is completed then i am going with the second parent id okay so now we will consider the second parent id here and the second parent id so i want these two employees to come under second so now id number 2 id number 2 is who it is asif hussain right so under asif hussain you will get these two okay uh, rinsi patel and umang all right so now now once we complete okay once we complete this two then we will go with the third one okay as you can see we have three here we have three here okay so now who is the third person krupali bhusa so under them we will get karnav and prince all right under them we will get karnav and prince so once we complete this karnav and prince then if i would like to talk about the next person if i consider parent id 4 okay 4 so we come under jagadish divanshi and siddharth so all these three will come under 4 now 4 is face for whom it is for kashish kumari okay so now in the same way if we consider the next people tulsi nukum ansh kapoor and ajita so these all are id number 5 so who is id number 5 here it's ajay charya so all these where i have mentioned five these people will come under our ajay charya okay so this is the system that we have it in our particular data here okay so this is the system that we have it in our particular data here so now what i am doing if you feel that the names are bigger okay you can just uh, make the names a little bit uh, smaller so that it will be easy when we visualize the particular data okay so now what i am doing i am just uh, renaming all these names so that it will be very easy for us to go and see in the visual okay so now i have you know modified my data now let me go and load this data into our power bi desktop so for this what i am doing let me close this one i will open my power bi here so let me go and fetch the data that we have seen just now so i'll go here into my location organization data let me open it up okay so now let us see how the data is and what we have to do so first let us go and get the data into our power bi desktop 
as you can see that we have our particular data but i still find that there is a null row here so let me go and transform the data and here i am going to remove my last row which i have which is completely null okay i can remove that because there is no data in it so now what i am doing i have come into my power query editor which is a data transformation uh, we have it the inbuilt uh, feature that we have it in power bi i will remove my bottom rows and i would like to remove my one row which is at the last so that i would like to remove it okay if you would like to change the sheet name i mean the table name you can change it it's up to you now i have done my particular transformation so i'll go close on apply where all the modifications or transformations that i have done in my particular power query editor that will be loaded up here so once when we get the data we will work on the very interesting part which is how to prepare an organization you might have a doubt that if i just have this data can i create the structure or the organization chart yes you can all right so as you can see that we have got the data now the very important thing that we have to do is that we have to get the data from the marketplace okay we do not have something called as organization chart which is by default in power bi but we have to get it from the marketplace so for that how should we do we will go here and we'll click on get more visuals so once when i click on this get more visuals so let me go and search for my organization chart that i have it so i have my chart which is certified let me click on this chart as soon as you click on this chart you can happily click on add where your chart will be added okay so i'll click on add here the import is successful so as you can see that the visual is in my visualization section so now i'll click on this as you can see that i have got the skeleton of it now the first thing that i have to select is id okay so first thing i have to select is id so under id i will get my id column so under parent id i will get my parent id column okay so i have got id and i have got parent id now i have to insert the main label okay now i have to insert the main label the main label here is name okay the main label here is name as you can see that we have got the name mithal is the ceo then as per the next process that we have seen in the data that we have got it so now the sub level what i am trying to do i would like to give the designation okay which person is what role here okay so that i have kept it now we have something called as group that group i will put it here so that it will give us the color differences with some attractive visual okay so now i have got my particular organization chart which is looking very thing very much interesting as you can see now mithal is my ceo and we have 1 2 3 4 and under each employee again we have you know different employees again under that employee we can have another multiple employees it's up to us there is even an option to go and add the image where you can get the image of these people if you wish to show it you can show it but it's optional it's not mandatory all right so we have got the organization chart which is looking very beautiful but let us ma make it the the most beautiful visual ever so for that what we have to do we have to do the formatting formatting so how we have to do the formatting so first let me come up with the size and style so here i'm just changing the background color of it which i would like to change it in some light color and i would like to add the visual border also to this one which i would like to make it in a rounded corners so this is done all right so now i'll come up with the title so my title i would like to change my complete title here okay i don't want all these column names to be visible in my title which will not show some good impact so let me consider that this is organization chart okay i'm just keeping this name as organization chart and i would like to change the font style to bold i'll increase it to 16 i'll make the text color white the reason is that i would like to make the background color black to make look much more attractive okay so i have got my title which is very interesting now if you see the link settings okay link is nothing but the lines that are linked up with one employee to the another employee so this is in a classic way if you would like in a modern yeah you can get it in a very modern way something like this if you feel that i should be much more professional then classic is good if you would like to change the color of it yes we can change the color of it it's up to us okay we can change the color of it 
whichever color we would like to have we can go and change with it and if you would like to increase the width of this particular line you can increase the width as well as you can see that now the lines are a little bit thicker okay so we have completed with our link settings now let us go with the card settings okay so the cards that you are seeing here in that if i would like to have some setting so if i would like to consider that uh, let me make it as uh, 100 okay so it will be it will look much more bigger or if you would like to have it in a 20 then it will look a little bit smaller okay so it's up to you all right so if you want to change it you can change it if you want to add card border you can add the border where you can have the border size which will look much more interesting okay so now card settings is completed now we'll go with the legend so legend that we have it here if you would like to you know show the group name you can show it or if you do not want it's up to you okay for me the top position is best so i'll keep it there now when i come to the label settings okay so these are the labels that we have in the sense the names that we have inside so for that let me make it to bold you know i'll increase it to 14 okay text color is white if it is okay you can keep it or if you would like to change to some other color it's purely your choice you can change it according to you but according to me you know the white is the best color all right so this is completed now if you would like to see the sub label settings okay the designations that we have those are the sub labels i will make it to bold now they are also a little bit bold so all right viewers as you can see that we have completed our visuals now it is looking very much interesting now it is looking very much beautiful so now i would like to show you one interesting thing you can either zoom in or zoom out using your cursor as well so that it depends upon how you would like to show it if you would like in a very zoom in way or zoom out way so depending upon the hierarchies that we have it in your particular data set so in this video we have learned how to create an organization chart in power bi thank you for choosing nohub academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning